Today in show history, what were we talking about years ago today on The David Pakman Show? One year ago today, Mitt Romney put out that campaign ad where he pushed the story that uh, Chrysler Jeep is sending jobs to China and it's Obama's fault. Of course, not only was it not Obama's fault, it wasn't even a real story. And that, uh, that I don't think that that hurt Romney Lewis as much as the 47 percent thing, but that was still probably one of the most damaging ads that he ran. Right. But the 47 percent thing was the, uh, the the big one. Yeah, absolutely. Two years ago today, a North Carolina pregnancy center continued deceiving women, telling a Jewish woman that she needs to convert to Christianity. This reminded me, Lewis, of the one guy. Well, I guess now it's been two people, but one of the first person to ever end an interview early was a guy who ran some so-called pregnancy centers here in New York City. And he didn't want to answer the question of whether they were licensed medical facilities. A pretty basic question. If it's a place calling itself a pregnancy center, the answer, of course, was no. And uh, he hung up on me. So you can look that up on our YouTube channel. Chris Slattery, I think the guy's name was. Uh, name's escaping me now. And three years ago today, Sharon Angle. Remember Sharon Angle's bizarre campaign? She had a campaign ad where it had a stock Getty Images picture of Hispanics, and she was simultaneously claiming that some Hispanics look Asian. It was one of the weirdest campaigns that we ever experienced. That and Christine O'Donnell Lewis are at the top of the list. Right, but Sharon Angle, that was um, that was something truly unique because it, it it wasn't just your normal political rambling. It literally made no sense at all. That's today in show history for the David Pakman Show.